Look, we all want to know more about Baby Yoda. We've got questions, like where can we get one? Can we take it home? Does it know how important it is to us? And can we trade any of our family members for just a moment of its time? Because we would. But some of us out there have other, bigger questions about the whole Yoda species. Check out the video for everything we know about these little green marvels. First of all, we should start by saying that we know Baby Yoda isn't actually Yoda, who had since departed the world of Star Wars five years earlier, but because we didn't feel right making up a name for the little creature, for the sake of time management, we're gonna stick with Baby Yoda. We also have no idea what to call Baby Yoda, because we have no idea who he is, or if it even is he, for that matter. The Yoda species has always been incredibly mysterious, and that is no accident. George Lucas himself has been quoted to say that Yoda is a magical character. He has no background. He comes and goes. He is subversive, secret, a mysterious stranger. And that's how he liked it. Lucas deliberately didn't want Yoda's background to be revealed in any of the films or Star Wars Expanded Universe. For whatever reason, he wanted the Jedi Master to remain a mystery, or he never came up with a backstory to begin with. He even joked that Yoda was a frog in order to divert from answering questions about his background, and once said that he was the child of Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy. And I told you I want my Kermit the Frog! Well, we're pretty sure this isn't true. What a twist that would be. After nine in movies, cartoons, comic books, and everything else, in the last episode of The Mandalorian, Kermit and Miss Piggy show up to take Baby Yoda back to Sesame Street. Honestly, we wouldn't be mad. But chances are, well that would be the crossover event of the century, it won't be the case here. When Star Wars was purchased by Disney, they considered everything that happened outside of the movies to be non-canon, and went about reimagining some of the Star Wars lore for this new generation, and we still didn't get a Yoda backstory. So, as it stands now with this new Disney canon, we have only ever seen three members of the species, Yoda, Yaddle, and now, Baby Yoda. We all know about Yoda, the 900 year old Jedi Master who was revered and respected by all. At the end of his 900 years, which is apparently average for the species, he was said to have trained thousands of new Jedis, and was a leading member of the Jedi High Council. We know that he was strong with the Force at a very young age, and was already a Jedi Master by the time he was 100 years old. We don't know quite as much about Yaddle as we do Yoda, other than that she was about 400 years old by the time we met her in The Phantom Menace, and was also a Jedi Master, serving alongside Yoda on the High Council. Now, Baby Yoda, we know even less about him. Her? We don't know. What we do know is as follows. Baby Yoda is about 50 years old by the time we encounter it at the end of episode one of The Mandalorian. We also know that just because you're little doesn't mean you aren't strong, because Baby Yoda used the force to lift a giant space rhinoceros off the ground. It also tried to help the Mandalorian heal his wounds, so we're beginning to think that we've only seen the very tip of the iceberg of Baby Yoda's power. It doesn't seem like a coincidence that Yoda, Yaddle, and now Baby Yoda all have been force sensitive, which leads us to believe that it is something that is common with their species. Maybe they are the original Jedi species, or at least the most ancient ones we have ever encountered. Along with that, Baby Yoda is clearly a carnivore, or at the very least, an omnivore. Definitely not a herbivore, as it is demonstrated when it picked up a space frog half its size and devoured it whole and alive. The sharp, pointy claws on Yoda, Yaddle, and Baby Yoda indicate that they have evolved to spear prey, and their sharp teeth look more than capable of tearing through flesh. We see Yoda in the original Star Wars series living off of vegetables and plant matter, so it is possible that, as he got older, he moved past his carnivorous ways. And then there is the way that they evolve. If we know that 900 years is the average lifespan for a member of the species, then it makes sense that baby Yoda would still be very much a baby at 50. But if we believe Yoda's backstory, we also know that he was already a Jedi Master by the time he was 100, which either means he was the most evolved toddler in the galaxy, or that baby Yoda is about to undergo a serious growth spurt. It's also possible that this new Disney canon will be ignoring that part of Yoda's backstory, and will go an entirely different Different route. Their small stature definitely helps them live as long as they do, as their organs don't grow as large and work as hard as other species. There are indications in the Mandalorian that the species that Baby Yoda belongs to is an ancient one, and possibly nearing extinction. It goes with the theme of the show, and how the Mandalorian himself is also fighting to preserve his now weakened race since the domination of the Empire. The show is about dealing with the effects of colonization and the aftermath of total devastation. It also explains why Baby Yoda is so sought after, 
and why it is so important to the client and his sinister doctor friends to get their hands on him. One of the most popular theories floating around is that they want to clone Baby Yoda, or at least harvest it for its midichlorians and access to the Force. If Baby Yoda is part of a very small remainder of the species, it would make all the more sense that these bad guys would be after him. While the Yoda species remains a huge mystery, we're pretty sure that we'll be getting more and more background on them as the Mandalorian continues. Maybe Mando and Baby Yoda will wind up at Baby Yoda's home where we'll get to see all the other tiny green creatures of his species. At least, we can dream. We don't know much about Baby Yoda, but we're willing to learn everything we can. How about you? Are you a fan of the tiny green guy? Or are you over the whole thing? What do you think about where it comes from? Do you hope we get to learn more about it later on? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to our channel to keep up with all of our latest videos.